Alright, I think we're live. Hey guys, welcome. So, I've used Mid Journey again to create some sort of um, image. So I created a sci-fi transport ship. I'm just kind of going through and just fixing up a few things over here on uh, the, 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 the thing of a bob. <laughs> and yes, so... We're going to try and see how much we can smash out of the new concept ship. Um, I have just released a brand new kit bashing set. Um, there is a link in the description for that if you want to check that out. Um, and what we'll do, how do I go check this out? There we go. That's what I want to see. Let me just make sure that everything is up and running because I don't want to be a stooge. Okay. Um, Good morning, good evening, Lynn. It is, uh, what's the time? It is 9.30, so I've started a little bit earlier this time around, um, and that's just purely for the fact is, eh, a little bit tired. Uh, just set this to live streams, please, done. Sorry, rocking with some new software. Stooge, stooge. <laughs> okay. So this is what we've got. We've we use Mid Journey, so we're using AI to create an image, and this is what we're going to kind of build around. Happy time zone, absolutely. So let's first off start ahead. Delete, 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 um, and let's let's just kind of like block out the shape that we're going to go for. All right, could you start a seat? No, <laughs> no, I could not, because I do not know it at all. And I haven't bothered to learn it. Because, uh, yeah, it just doesn't interest me, ZBrush. So, yeah, I haven't bothered to learn it. Uh, I'm not much of a sculptor. I'm more about the hard surface. That's not too bad. And then let's kind of grab this. Let's grab this. Um, actually, we'll bring these two down. And we'll grab these two edge loops, bring them back, GY and GY. Kind of roughly having a look. Mm. Can you sing? No. <laughs> um, from here it looks like, so obviously we're just going through the blocking stage at the moment. Oops. G to the Z. And then... Let's grab this and this, E to extrude, scale along the X, G to the Z. And we're going to have something like this. Shift D to the Y. E to extrude. So we've got something like this happening. So it's going to be interesting not having a symmetrical ship that we like normally have. Oh, Con, how you doing, mate? I haven't seen you for ages. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go. But yeah, so we're going to continue. Uh, it looks like this one here goes underneath. Something like that. Now, I'm not sure, but looking at this picture, is this a cockpit? I can't tell. So for instance, if I were to go, you know, put an edge loop through the middle here, and we do something like that, select so this edge, shift S, cursor selected, and then we've got a UV sphere. I have added in my key strokes down here, just in case a lot of people have asked. Australians don't dance due to the heat waves. Heat waves? It was minus six two weeks ago. Duffy Dan, well, good. Uh, what key streaks? Uh, what key streaks are you using to do bevel like that? Uh, why are these off screen? Ah, that's weird. So, if we're talking about these ones, all I did was is I extruded both sides and then uh, just moved it down. Or if you're talking about these ones, I just scaled the face. That's all it was. I sure am in Canberra. Morning, Terry. How you doing, mate? Um, good, that's looking nice. I like that. I like the idea of almost like a, yeah, the non-symmetrical thing. Your menu's coming up. Yeah, so there we go, brought it out now. Cool, let's now, hmm, shall we? 
let's bring in a person just for scaling. So control F. Actually, I don't need my headphones. I don't have any music on because I forgot to set that up. So I'm um, going to bring in a character, CC pipeline. Let me just quickly import just someone just to kind of have that reference. And we'll try and make it to scale. scale. Why? Because we can. Uh, male character. There we go. Oh, yes. So I'm starting to try and learn Python. I've got an idea. Uh, and that's what we'll... And so I've started to learning, yeah, scripting. Is it going well? Nah. <laughs> but that's fine. All right. So I'm going to guess something to this scale. I reckon that looks like a nice scale. Let's go G to the Y. And we'll scale that image up. GZ. Whew. Oh, really? We're about to Duffy Dan. South side all the way. <laughs> if you're north side, mm, go away. No, no, stay, stay. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so let's start. Let's have a look. Where's my image? Here it is. I do like how we've got that in there. And so we will connect those through in there. Where'd you get your chair? Where'd you get your... Oh, so these are all... Let me just quickly go. These are all character creator for characters. Um, use them all the time. Southside, nice. Do you work Southside? <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. So let me, I'm just gonna quickly, let's dump some files. I mean, dump some of the kit bashing pieces um, and we'll just kind of guesstimate what stuff looks like. So let's go into my Markham 3D, kit bashing, because I know these pieces. Um, this is the piece that I was after. There we go. Something like that. We can kind of see. And then we've got a whole bunch of crud over here on the side. And that'll be in my first kit bashing set. There's a nice big plate of items. Where is it? It's a nice long one. There it is. Rotate X. G to the Z. Okay. We're getting there. We're slowly cooking. All right, maybe what I'll do is let's change that around and I'll bring my kit bashing set from above. Bear with me. No, not simply cloth. This one. There we go. Oh, much better. All right, so we're looking at something like that. Studying AIE. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, obviously, you're learning. I'm going to assume Unreal Engine. Okay. I like that. Uh, why not? Let's just throw this piece in. Rotate Z 90 degrees. There we go. Something like this. Maybe we'll get scale on the Z. Yeah, nice. All right. What do we got here? We've got some nice plating here. I know that from my number three. I got a really good one. I think I created this one here. That's not the one I was thinking, but uh, that might work. That's not going to work. It's not that one. It's th this one. Yeah. There we go. Beautiful. Let's go like that. Scale this down a little bit. G, Y. Maybe we'll grab both of these pieces. G, Y. Bring it back. Uh, let's go G, Y. And we're just going to start lining. Yeah. I like the idea around this. Um, CC4 is consistently, yeah, absolutely. Love it, use it so much. Um, currently working on another animated short film in iClone, which will be exported into um, NVIDIA's Omniverse. The other cool thing is, um, 
Hey, it's okay. Enjoying the pipeline. Don't know if I'll do a second year though. Yeah, fair enough. What do you do for work? I am a senior 3D and VR developer um, for Services Australia here in Tuggers. Okay, so I'm liking how this is working. This is good. This is good. I think we could probably maybe scale that down. And then we will just come in and we'll just dump in a whole bunch of other stuff. Let's just line that up. We will though have to come in and do some fancy things. So maybe let's just start working on this first section. Control P, I'm just gonna P, parent, uh, separate by selection. There we go. All right, so from here, I think what we might have is this top piece here. I feel that maybe that should be its own panel. So I'm gonna go P, separate by selection. There we go. It's like shift GG, control G, GG, shift. Ah, oh, there's a way to extend it. So I'll do it the way I know for now, but I've got to work that out for another time. But how you can go GG and you move the edges along the normals or the uh, vertices along the edges, there is a way to actually overextend that. So let's select these top things. Um, Duffy, what are you actually learning? Are you doing game development, uh, film design? Okay, that's cool. And then I'm from here, I'm gonna put in a solidify modifier and we'll make that go into the negative. Just make sure we go shift N to flip the normals. Okay, thank you. Nice. Um, and then what we can come and do here is actually we'll select these vertices and scale it in. And then these are kind of like, yeah, it's almost like a sunshade-ish style. Um, but what we can do is come through here, maybe put an edge through there, edge through there, select these, scale X zero, scale X zero. And then what I'm gonna do is, let's put another edge loop through there. Kind of just wanna make this bigger. Select that, I'm gonna go delete faces. And then that's opened up kind of like that panel here, what we're looking at. Uh, what I might do as well, maybe we'll do this, Shift D, GZ. Let's go Control I to invert our selection and hide briefly. And then I'm just gonna add in just some extra details quickly. Let's go like that, oops, like that. Let's go like that and like that, delete vertices. And then we'll do the same here, delete this edge. You can do it Marco, well done. Uh, from here we'll do my favorite thing, which is kind of like this inset piece. So we've got that, Alt H. And you can see now how we're kind of like starting to add to that. Um, I want to go actually zero please. Yeah, beautiful. And then that's how we can kind of come in uh, use discombobulator for greebles. Yes, so I've got actually two things that I could use. Um, so if I were to go, let me just control S, save this. So if I were to put some edge loops in, I just kind of want to square them off a bit. And let's go control LP, separate by selection. And I want to focus on this piece. So if I have this piece and we got everything selected, I can go Q, shift Q. Oh, I'm not in the right mode. Alt F, go to hard surface. Q, Q, shift Q, there we go. I can go random panels. And so this is uh, the, um, let me just quickly bring it up. So this, what I'm about to use will be, where is it? There it is. I'm about to use the random flow add-on, which is that link there. Um, so if I go Q, Shift Q, we can go panels. Oh, get stuffed, F9, Shift Q, come on. Panels, then I can add in some more cuts and you can see how it's gonna quickly create uh, those extra loops. So let's go point, point one, not too much. 
0.05. That's kind of cool. We can probably give it some more cuts. Let's go 10%, 2%, okay, like that. Um, and then you can see how we've kind of really created those panels super quick. <laughs> Wait, what's this a potato? I've been able to get into Omniverse yet. My computer is a potato. Yeah, Omniverse, I see a lot of potential in it. I mean, especially if NVIDIA is creating their own render engine. I kind of, that's why I've started using it because it seems like it'd be probably pretty important to get involved with it as soon as possible. And so that's kind of like what I've done with that. Uh, unfortunately, the tutorials I make for it, nobody's really watching. It's not, uh, that kind of sucks. But, oh well. Uh, so from here, I'm going to select these panels here. Shift S, cursor to selected. And then we're going to select this top panel. Um, from here, let's go 3D cursor. Shift D, rotate 100. Rotate 180. G to the X. I'll just expand that. Expand that. Uh, control J to join, control A to scale. Nice. And this will be good, like obviously once we come in and start creating some of like the inserts for this. So we can go like I, I actually wanna do something like this. Let's kind of go E, V, my. And then we've got a back face here that we want to get rid of. Delete faces. Mm. Uh, let's select all this scale on the X. Scale on the X. Is that right? Yep. Nice. Actually, no, let's scale in on the X. What's going on here? Oh, you dumb donkey. Hang on, let's undo all that. So I kind of stuffed up there for a sec. Let's put an edge loop this way as well. There we go. And now we go extrude, scale X, and then there's a face behind here. Let's delete that face. Then with all this selected, I can go scale X. There we go. And so that cleans up that area there. Um, I can just go scale on the Z axis a little bit, just so it's not clipping on top of each other. CG master, welcome. Uh, Pyramid. Marco's airliner is giving me heart palpitations. What? <laughs> yeah, random flow. Also, uh, plating generator is another great one. So, with plating generator, let's press plate, generate plates. And so, this will create plural plates really nicely, uh, 20%, okie dokie, 90%. Uh, and then we can do like subdivisions. Um, we've got the option of doing triangulate as well. And so it actually triangulates some of the panels, even though you can't really see it from there, but uh, that exists there. So, whoa, 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 whoa. Undo, 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 go away. All right, so from here, I'm gonna select this and this, Control LP, separate by selection, separate by selection. We can come up and go into solidify, modify. And we'll just increase the size of that. Oops, whoop, 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 whoop. wrong one. Select that, there we go. And now we go into solidify, modify. There we go. I'm doing well. How come you have a negative perception of AI? I don't. No, 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 I just, I don't. I was just asking what it was. What are you doing? VFX and animation course. Yeah, sweet. Um, yeah, no, no. No, nothing against it. Absolutely not. Um, I was just curious because like I I looked into it previously um, and I was questioning like, oh, do I go? But being that it's full time, eh, it doesn't really work for me. <laughs> So I will, yeah, just continue to grow my skills uh, independently, pretty much. So that's looking nice. I do like this piece. And obviously, once we kind of start coming in, and if we select 
Yeah, ugh, this one here. I like this piece. That's a, that's a nice piece. Um, we go up into here. So at the moment, if I hold control, it kind of just goes through um, and moves at an interval. Interval? Whatever. Increment. But I want to snap it to face. So if I click on the face snapping and we go send medium point, let's go align, uh, align rotation to target and we want to move and rotate. Now when I go hold control, it'll snap based on the origin point. Uh, let's bring that back out. There we go. Yeah, nice. Yeah, look at that. Why is that? Hey. There we go. And then obviously we can just start dumping in these things. Just to our heart's desire. Um, and then for those of you who were here last week as well. Well, not last week. Uh, the week before. Because last week I had the accident. Um, we will probably end up drawing some pipes on as well. Because um, that's pretty beneficial and it's nice and easy to do that kind of stuff. And you can see just kind of like how we're just filling all this out. I do like this piece. This is one of my favorite pieces. Just kind of like an antenna that's been created. Now, what are we going to do with the front here? Um, let's go ahead and maybe create... This can be kind of like the, you know, the cockpit. Kind of like where there will mostly be. Make engines? Yeah, I'll make them eventually. Um, looks pretty good. Thanks, Monju. Plus, it's 50k. For, oh, my goodness. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, that's that's definitely not for me. Um, let's go like that. Let's... What the? Are oh, you donkey. Anyway. I understand how this works. Okay. Beautiful. I will duplicate that piece because I really like that piece. Uh, let's go Shift D, hold Control. And we're just going to dump that one into there. <gasps> da, da, da. Dump it in there. We'll dump it in here as well. Nice. So the big question is, is where's the door? How's this opening? So let's work that out. So this is our chap and we want the door to be nice and big. So I'm going to grab maybe these panels here. And this is what's going to kind of like, uh, my keep bashing sets are in the description. So let's go shift DP separate by selection. Um, just thinking what's the best way. Okay, so the doors are going to have a hinge up here. So they're going to have a hinge there, a hinge here, hinge here. All right, so let's go V to rip, V to rip, V to rip. So now I've got kind of like a whole bunch of separate pieces. V to rip. Control L. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is from here, I'm actually just going to move everything a little bit. Oh, no, stuff. Oh, yeah, better move it forward. Just so it's more in line with everything. There we go. Okay. So let's let's just quickly create an armature. So let's go cursor to world origin. Thank you. Shift A, armature, single bone. Um, let's select our door. What we're going to do is I'm going to select that shift S cursor to select it. And then when we come here, we're going to go the first bone shift S selection to cursor here, shift S selection to cursor. Let's get our bone shift S selection to cursor. And then let's make sure there is no roll on it. So we'll come up here into item, roll, roll, 
radius? Envelope? Meh, I don't know. Hey, Mike, how you doing, mate? Patreon blocked. Oh, what? Dang it, stink of Patreon. <laughs> so from here, let's go Shift S, cursor to selected. And then I'm going to select our armature and let's go E to extrude, Shift S, selection to cursor. Um, from here, let's, let's maybe select this, Shift D. And then I'm going to scale on the 3D cursor, scale Y, sorry, Z minus one. So now we've kind of got two armatures and we will, maybe what we should do is go cursor to world origin and I'm going to add in an extra armature. So this one here, um, we're going to call this one ship. Uh, transport ship root and then from here we're going to have the bones oh it's meant to be root bone this one here what no your root bone you clown oh fuck it okay uh upper door one actually that's wrong should be door upper one door upper upper two that means this one here will be shut up phone this one here will be door underscore lower one and this one here will be door underscore lower two. I wish I had some music. Um, is this shit made for a game? Nah. Nah, alt R's not doing it. Oh well, that's fine. So now we've got our bones um, all named properly. And so now if I were to select this piece, shift left click on my armature, control P, parent object with empty groups, so now when we click on our piece here and we come into the object data, we can see our vertex groups for our bones. So now let's go control L. This is upper door. No, it's not. This and this, these two will be assigned to root. This and this is upper door. This and this is upper two. This and this is lower two and this and this is lower one okay so that means now um, let me just quickly add in solidify modify and we'll go zero and we're just going to increase the size just to make it a little bit more obvious so now when we come into pose mode and when we come to animate we can open the door whoops rotate y and then this can open up Actually, let's yeah, let's keyframe it. Let's go I set rotation, and then at frame forty, we're gonna have rotate Oh you dirty fat. Oh no no, it's fine, 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 fine. <laughs> it's okay. We go into edit mode and then um, we've got our parents relation. It's not connected. Correct. So why are you? Ah, oh, have I got idiot? Let's do a medium point. There we go. Um. So yeah, it's a fun. We got this. We got this. I know what I'm doing. So let's go rotate. Rotate. Y. Ten. Rotate Y, 15, minus. Rotate Y, 15. Let's go 20 on this one. And then from here, we're gonna have rotate minus 80. No, 
rotate minus 70. Rotate 70. I think this then, we can probably come down lower. So now if we select these, and we go I rotation, so we've set the keyframes for the rotation. And now, it's gonna move this forward. We've got doors that open up. What you can even do, one inspiring eye as well. The other cool thing is with these bones selected, I can press T and we can do back. So now what this animation is gonna do, it should open up, it goes past the point and then comes back. Obviously we can slow it down a little bit further. That's kind of cool. That's, uh, that's, that's, yep, I'm down with that. It does open a little bit fast, um, but that's something we could probably work on a little bit later. And then from here, if we, ah, idiot. From here, what we can do is if we now go ahead and s delete these, actually, I don't want to delete these pieces. What I want to do is I'm going to make an inset, something like that, and we'll delete now. Because now what that has allowed me to do, or for me to have, is to have this border. Mm, let's undo that. Shift D, P, separate by selection. Oops. And I'm gonna grab that and scale it, scale it on the Y axis. Now let's do I, do an inset, delete faces. Uh, you, sir, can now go away because I don't need you. Can you not? <gasps> oh, that's why. And delete faces. Let's just quickly scale, scale that on the y-axis a little bit. Yep. And now we select this piece. What the heck? Why can't I select that piece? There it is. Select that piece, come over here, solidify modifier, and we'll make that zero. And then that's kind of like the border. And so now when we go ahead and you know play it, there we go, we've kind of made a door very quickly. Let's just put on a bevel modifier on it and not have it so strong. So let's go 0 0.02, 0 0.05. Control A, apply the scale. Let's maybe select everything. Control A, apply the scale. There we go, that's a bit better. I didn't do that initially. Silly Marco, make that a little bit thicker. And we'll make this one a little bit thicker. And we gotta make sure it's sitting on the outside of the door. Yeah, that's fine. And so yeah, we've got that. And obviously we can do more with, you know, we can add pistons and such. Um, I've got tutorials on All About and how to do all that jazz. Um, but maybe I might revisit that afterwards. And um, we'll just add some giant pistons in, and, you know, we can show that. Uh, which cinematic user? Uh, this is from this. So this is, uh, we're using Mid Journey as concept art and we're kind of building off it, uh, around it. So that's kind of like just how we're expanding and we're doing all these pieces. Uh, we're doing all this jazz. So, yes. So we're just kind of like really, just still blocking out the exterior. I'm uh, not entirely sure what else we're gonna be doing, but uh, we'll probably just end up starting to throw in some greebles and such. Uh, like for instance, we might just throw that one in. And we'll go like that, G to the Z. And then we're just gonna kind of go ahead and just start filling out all these pieces. Um, let's grab this circle here, Shift D, E to extrude. Let's go scale, Shift Y, and then it only scales along the Y axis. Oh, sorry, it doesn't scale along the Y axis. And now we've got that. Uh, what we might do is come over into normals and select auto smooth. And let's go sm shade smooth. And there we go, we've got that now. Let's throw on a bevel while we're here as well. 
um, 0.05, nice, nice. The best ring toots are on this channel. Thanks. I've, I try and do, I haven't done a mechanical one for a while. And I think the last one I did was that leg at the landing gear. And it turned out pretty good. I was very happy with it. Um, I should probably, yeah, I should probably redo that one. Or something similar. I think maybe this door one, we'll go into depth on making that. Might be a good. Yeah, look at that. And then, yeah, we'll come in, we'll start cleaning up all this stuff. Mm. Mer. Something like that. Concept data so <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I hear what you're saying. Not that piece. There we go. Bring that down. There's a cool door. Um, now the next question is, is what are these engines gonna look like? Let's go... Discord? Yeah, what else? We'll come back to that. You must blow this ship up. I probably could. I have been practicing. Um, well, I've done a few fractal things. Fractal? Fracture. Fracture. Fracture add on. Um, yes. I probably could. Now that, you, now that you mention it. Now that you mention it, Con. Oops, let's go. Something like that. Um, because yeah, the the grebe was a pretty good buddy. You did a very good job with them. You did very well. And so we're just kind of dumping these around at the moment, just to kind of break up that surface. Um, what we could do as well is I'm just going to come into my materials, sci-fi ship material. Uh, which one did I put that material on? There we go. And then from here, I'm going to copy material to selected. Shift S to save. Let's go into cycles, GPU. And let's go 32, 128. Let's go into shading and set up the world. Go away. Go away. Ah, that's too big. Mm, interesting. Uh, let's go into a sky texture. Um, so this material here is from Blender Guppy. So if you uh, if you check out his stuff, make sure you tell him I say you said I say hi. <laughs> uh, let's go into object. Is there a scale? Scale, 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 scale. Point two. Point two. Point two. Is that right? I'm just having a look. Oh yeah, fat mole. Okay, let's have a look. Scale, 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 scale. I'm just trying to find the right scales. Mapping, noise, texture. No, 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 no. Samples. What's it going off? 100. Is it doing anything? All right, so that doesn't do anything. So we'll go back to one, 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 30, okay. All right, where are we? I'm just having a look just quickly. Let's see if we can find a scale. There's an ambient occlusion. That's not the one that I want. Quick panels, scale one. That's not bad. Uh, let's come over into film and we'll change this to 0.1. Let's come over into world, zoom in, and we're just gonna rotate the sun a little bit and how we're looking. Yeah, okay, so this is the wrong material. Let's try a different material. Um, uh, this one here is the one I normally use as well. That one there. Select all, copy material to selected. Let's go 
back into here. Let's go into the settings. How's that looking? Let's select everything. U, cubic projection. Yeah, okay, that's fine. UV editing. Let's go into shading. Let's go back into objects. And where are you? Where are you? Where, 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 where? I should know where this is. Uh, let's go control, control. Ah, stuff. I'll just go into UV editing. Scale five. It's all right. We can do it at this for now. Yeah, there we go. That's a little bit better. Uh, let's come over into shading. And scratches look fine. So it's interesting because in EV, oh, the sun doesn't work in EV. Oh, I hate you. Ambient occlusion. Uh, let's go into world and we'll change the lighting to, I think, this one. Yep. Oh, gosh, I can't remember. How do I do this? I know, I know how to do this. <laughs> All right. So, uh, to Wednesday, Friday, there is a tutorial on kind of like setting up this material with the edgeware. I hate you so much. Why are you not? Uh, where is it? Hang on. Let me... Let me bring in this one. So this is another ship that I was working on in my free time. And yeah, turned out quite nice. So I published this one on the Insta. I should get it, Evie, buddy. So I put this one on the Insta, some pictures of it. Um, and so this was made with some of those greeble pieces as well through here, just adding some pizzazzle. Thank you very much, buddy. How's my back? Yes. <laughs> yes. So for those of you who don't know... Um, I had a cycling accident, accident um, last week, and that's why we didn't stream. Uh, if I go to my profile, I'll show you the wonderful video of what happened. So I actually did it in 3D. So I hit some black ice. Yeah, yeah. So this is what it looked like. Lost control. Bang, bang. So... So, I uh, hit my forearm. I had some massive welts on the arm. Uh, what else? Giant bruising on my left leg. And so my left leg actually hit that rail here. And what destroyed my back was, is I landed on the corner here of this box, and that's what fractured the vertebra. <sighs> so, yeah. Go, uh, go, go on the Insta. <laughs> so yes but feeling much better uh i will survive we will we, we will rebuild um from here let me just go why do i come here i went let's come into this let's come into this file 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 append i just want to quickly go get that material we're going to go up sci-fi freighter there we go. Let's just get our material. I think it's this one. Markham 3D sci-fi setup, I believe. This one. Please be correct. I hate you. Why? Why are you not working? You fat mole. Oh, hang on. Let me check uh, face orientation. Face orientation's fine. I hate you. I've missed something. And that's infuriating. I've literally grabbed... It's wrong material. Sci-fi mat, you dumb clown. Yep. That's, uh, that'll do it to you. So let's go file import, um, oh, file append, sci-fi mat. 
There we go. Please work now. Sci-fi mat. No? What the heck? I don't have an answer. And that is super frustrating. So we'll just go back to uh, cycles. <laughs> Um, let's select that and go back to copy material to selected. Um, from there, let's go back into the world settings and just fix up the world lighting. And we'll go back to new sky. There we go. All right. So let's work kind of off that. So that looks nice. So you can really see how it's all coming together. Um, on some of these pieces, it's the lines are too big and that's because it's going off the generated uv so this this piece here is going to have very thin lines around the outside because the piece is a lot bigger compared to you know if we find this piece in here you can see how it's just like smashed all over which is correct um so technically we'd have to come in and do it manually tom welcome good to see you buddy Um, did you, did you do, or are you going to do a tutorial on how to set up your library asset library? Yes. Uh, asset that is this video. I already have that for you and it, it is one of my best performing videos, which is infuriating because I threw it together in like three minutes. So that's the video for setting up yeah, your asset library. Okay, so from here, I'm going to throw on a, let's go bevel and we'll leave it as is. Let's just maybe go shade smooth and we will come in and go normals and auto smooth. Um, what we can do, so I'll show you another thing that we were doing last week for funsies was you can actually draw pipes really simply so if we were to go um, we'll do it back here if i were to go shift a create a curve create a bezier tab into edit mode and you can see our beziers there i'm just going to delete all those vertices from here if i press t we can select the draw let's make sure we come over into the workstation and we want to draw on surface and then from here what we can do is kind of just go like that uh, something like so um, let's come back into this Oy. select this option and we'll go scale Z zero G to the Z and we'll bring that down from here we can come into the Bezier settings let's go into geometry and we'll increase the depth GZ oops GZ and you can see that's how we can actually just draw pipes. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool if I don't mind saying more so myself. I don't know what that was. Right click subdivide. I'm just going to put just one there. Scale Y zero. So it's on the edge. Scale Y zero. Scale Y zero. And then let's just have these both lining up. And then we'll have both of these lining up. There we go. And so technically you could go around and do like a whole bunch just around the ship. And then that's pretty much what it would look like. Um, I've changed my mind about this piece down here. I reckon, I reckon that this piece should be maybe in line with the bottom. So let's go ahead and bring it down. So, like so. Mm, let's make sure it's, let's make sure it is flat. Uh, let's go C, sail Z, zero. 
and I'm going to grab that edge and that edge, scale Z zero, beautiful. And we'll grab this edge as well, scale Z zero. All right, whatever. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that about? Is that fine? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we actually might bring that down. Yeah, let's do that. I like that idea. And then from here, select all this, scale Z zero, G to the Z. Um, actually, let's go something like this. Because obviously if this is the floor, ah, oh, no, then I've broken all that. Ah, oh, crud. No, bring that back down to about there, yep. And then on the inside here, when we go ahead and start cleaning some of these meshes up, um, We'll put in a floor in there and then all that jazz and that'll look a little bit more schmick. Mm. All right, 104 people. You know what, we're doing well. Mm -hmm. No, it's fine, we'll keep going. Okay, what are we doing? All right, so let's start maybe building in and we'll start creating some more insets in here. So for instance, I might go I to do an inset and then we're just going to go E to extrude along the Y axis and we'll bring that in. And so this has kind of given us a bit of a border. Um, let's go 0 0.05 on that bevel just to make it look a little bit neater. Maybe let's go 0 0.01. No, nah, too much. 0 0.02. Just a little in there. Definitely we'll have to throw in some scale Z zero. We'll go ahead and put in some nice paneling in here. So the manual panel method that I normally do would be if I were to grab all this, all right, just go like this. Let's go shift D P separate by selection. And what I'll do now is actually go into a solidify modifier and we'll increase it. Beautiful. Um, Let's go control I to invert the selection and hide the rest. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly draw up some panels. Uh, I mean, we could, oh, let's just try that. Okay. I'm going to go like this, random panels. Um, oops. Shift Q. Mm, yeah, random panels. Let's have a look. Well, hang on, let's get rid of solidifier. Let's get rid of bevel. Shift at, shift Q, random panels, and we will increase the cut. Ah, it's, not the, it's not the look that I'm after though. No, let's not do that. Let's do it the manual way. All right, so from here, let's go ahead like that, like that. Uh, no, not like that. Let's put a loop through there, like so. We have one giant loop that goes that way. Delete edge loops. Select this. V to rip. Control L, delete vertices. Let's select these two edges. Shift S, cursor to selected. Right click, set origin to G origin. Set origin to 3D cursor. And now what I'll just do, put a mirror modifier on. I hate you. Shift S. Mirror modifier. Ah. What? Z. What the heck? How does that? Uh, hmm? I hate you. Okay, there we go. All right. And now what we can do is we can just start going ahead and we'll start creating some of the panels that I love. So I normally like to do an edge loop, bevel, and then we delete. Um, we can do even fancy stuff where we go GG. Not that one. Let's go GG. Let's put an edge loop. Let's go... GG. Pfft, 
GG. There we go. And then from here, let's go Control B, delete faces. Um, Control B, delete faces. And then we'll select this edge. Control B, delete faces. And I'm going to map for this ship, I'm actually going to purposely try and make them bigger. And then we'll do another um, coding of coding, another coating of smaller panels. So let's go G, just going to increase the size because I think that would be the way to go. I'm just going to hide this just so I don't see it right now. Um, let's go Control B, delete faces, grab that, G to the Z. Um, and then we can do some of my favorite things where we go control B and then we select them control B to do a bevel G to the Z I get stuffed uh, control B to do a bevel and then control Z can we use procedural textures from shader nodes and send that data to geometry nodes but I have no idea I don't know ge I haven't I haven't touched uh, geometry nodes because I hate them. Have you ever made an animation film in a month? Yes. So there is a local. So you are basic modeling, then keep bashing. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Let me just catch up. Um, yes. So I'm just using my keep bashing set and sorry, I'm blocking, putting some keep bashing on and then kind of like refining the the blocking out and just keep going. Have you ever made a month, a short film in a month? Yes, I made this one in 10 days. Hmm. So, well, actually I've made quite a few now. Ooh. Oh, it's not even on this channel. Ooh. So if you go to Deadset Digital, the video's on there, but I've also created the other two short films that I've created at the moment is workplace health and safety oh itchy nose uh yes please so this is one of the shorts no don't open copy this is one of the shorts that i've created um that took a couple of days uh mainly three environment i'm working with blender for every year i can't keep up i'm eight years now i've been like fully fully into it so I've got like my own little workflows now and you know, they work well because they're my workflows. Delete faces. Um, so I'm just gonna keep building this. We'll do a few more, delete faces. Let's go control B. I'm trying to, I really should have made these first ones a lot bigger. G, Y. Let's go like that. G, X, G, Y, G, G. Yeah, I think having bigger panels will be better. G, G. Um, let's just quickly do something in here. Control B, delete faces. Um, I reckon I might go G to the Z, grab this, go Z like so. I don't want that. I'll probably fix that up. We'll apply the mirror modifier on soon. Let's go G Y, something like that. Uh, I suppose that Q bash rush is already, eh, eh. <laughs> they're very basic ones. I just normally use a UV unwrapping square. What is it called? A cubic a cube projection normally. So now if we turn these on and I go Alt H, you can see how we've added in those panels. And now when we come in over the top again and probably put a smaller layer of little squares or even just spawn squares, it'll be nice in there. Um, what we actually might do as well is probably do some insets, um, but I do like the way that looks. Let's make them even thicker. And we'll make them come out a bit. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's schmick. 
Um, if we go back to our reference footage here, yeah, we can see that we've got a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but this is, yeah, this is all the things that we can come down to and do it afterwards. I do like this piece. I am going to steal the idea. What have we got? Okay. So let's recreate that piece. I'm going to go like this and we're going to grab all that. Shift D, P separate by selection. Did I grab more than I could chew? Sure did. Uh, let's go control A, apply location, because then I can put it back into position really easy. Delete vertices. From, yeah, okay. From here, we're gonna bring this edge back. Um, let's go E to extrude. Let's select all this, shift S cursor to selected. And then I'm gonna go into have a cube. And we're gonna place this thus. I'm gonna place this around here. Uh, scale on oops, scale on the Y, scale on the X. From here I'm gonna select these edges. Why am I in let's get out of here? We're gonna select these edges in here. And let's go control B to do a bevel. Alright. With that selected, we're going to select this face here, control numpad minus. I do have the bull tool enabled, which is a free add-on. Uh, let's go control A to apply that. And then we can delete. From here, I'm going to delete this bottom half as well. Now, the reason why I extrude is because sometimes there's a bit of an issue um, and it doesn't bull properly just on a plane. See you, buddy. Okay, and I know, let's go something like that, shift D, I'm going to scale on the Y axis, G to the Y, and let's go something like, whoop, whoa, 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 alt G, and then that'll put us in this position, G to the Y, from here we can throw on that solidify modifier that we've been using. And let's kind of just go up a bit. Let's grab this piece, G, Y. Uh, let's select that edge, Control B. Ooh, settle down, sunshine. Select this edge, G, Y. There we go. That's, that's looking pretty grouse. Uh, I am going to select these two edges. And just bring it in because at the moment it's currently sitting on the very edge of the panels. But now it kind of sits a little bit off it, so it looks nice. I'm out of water. That sucks. Uh, from here, G to the Z, let's just bring it down a bit. Yeah, nice. Liking that. I mean, we can do the same thing with the panels here as well. Um, let's maybe select all these, control B to do a bevel, and if we don't like them, we can always just come back and we'll fix it up, delete those faces. Um, is there a solidify modifier? Yes, there is. So let's go ahead, we'll do that. Let's put an edge loop through here, control B, control B to do a bevel. Yeah, nice. Mm. Nice. Nice. <laughs> and GG. Nope. Do I not have anything selected? I do not have anything selected. GG. Can we see that? We cannot see that. Uh, let's... Mm. Okay, we're going to cover this up. Do we have anything special to really cover it up? I'm just going through trying to remember what I've did this one oops this one no what are you doing okay that was weird let's go rotate Z minus and we're gonna plop something in there like so and that's just gonna hide that intersect piece there. Mm. 
not so sure about this sphere here. I think we could probably do something better. Um, definitely like this. I reckon we could probably throw in some more pie pigeon stuff. Sh stuff. Sh this is something. Hey, what the heck? Give them something like that. You got this. Why? Uh, yeah, and this is what this bit here will be primarily is just dump fest. <laughs> it's shut up. It's late. Okay, let's keep going. I'm just going to just dump a whole bunch of stuff in here. Uh, let's throw this one in there as well. I don't like that. Rotate X, Y, 90. Rotate Y, 180. Yeah, nice. Sick stuff. And this piece here. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a good one. I remember I remember making that one. Uh, I don't know what else we got. Come on, some last pieces. Feeling very parched. Throw that piece in there just on the end. Now the question is, is where should we put the engine? Should we put the engine up here or down here? Uh, the old spaceship, the future spaceship, doesn't have pipes. <laughs> Sounds like a planned dump fest. <laughs> uh, has anyone told you you look like Bogut from Money Heist? What? Money Heist. <laughs> Spanish Armenian boxer, okay? <laughs> yeah, I'll semi accept that. <laughs> Sam, how you doing, mate? Uh, yeah, the next question is do we create the engines? Do we go spherical engines? Do we go kind of like the Millennium Falcon style engine, like a wide engine? Mmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, I'm just going to see, is there anything else that we could probably throw in just quickly while we're here? Why? Is that even on there? Yeah. Um, uh, what we'll do, it's a good piece. Maybe we'll just put it in something like this. There we go. And we're just, we're just starting to layer more and more, I reckon. I reckon that's what we do, yeah. What else do we have? Any other piece? What's that? Oh, that's this piece. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember this piece. Rotate Z minus. I think that's a bit too big. Yes. So, yeah, as you can see, just kind of like just building up the surfaces. Rotate ZZ. 90 YY why? Why, 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 Delilah Rotate ZZ 180 YY mm, That's not mm. Maybe we're just going to dump it like so But I mean, yeah, we've got plenty of room in here And for instance, kind of like this piece here We'll probably just <laughs> chop it off uh, Falcon style engines. All right. Spherical engines are overrated. Okay. I would make offset engines. Yeah. So that's exactly what I was thinking. Um, okay. You go away. So what I was thinking is having the engines here and then this back section, you know, we would just continue just to put in a whole bunch of stuff those that was my kind of initial thought um
And then yeah, so that's something you reckon? All right, we'll do we'll do a Falcon style engine. Um, yeah, like we've got that, but it's not not really what I'm after. So that's kind of boring. That is still like a spherical one. Oh, sorry. Um, do -do -do, I'm just seeing if there's any other pieces that would be really nice, really quick that we could throw on. Keep bashing two. Oh my goodness! I keep forgetting about this piece. I love that piece. Boop. Boop. Is that too much? Eh, not really. And we have... What's this piece? Ooh. Yeah, we'll take that one. G, hold control. And... Yes. Yes. Delightful. Yes. Uh, where's my rendered view? Just for funsies. Uh, let's select everything. Select this one. Material. Copy material to selected. Yeah. Noise. Uh, obviously you can see that our um, edges are a little bit too strong. So we'll probably just come back and fix that later. I do like that idea of having the engine really far out. So that's interesting. Frumius, Welcome. 69, thank you. Uh, why, why are you making this for? I'm making it for making it. Uh, probably eventually I might use it in an animated short. Um, that'll what will be probably happen. The thing is, is I don't know how to like bake a texture for it. Is it? Because I'm trying to work out Star Citizen, the way they do it. And I'm pretty sure that the pieces on the ship themselves are all different. And so that way you've got the LODs as you walk around the ship. So I'm thinking that's what I'm going to have to do is kind of like just chop the ship up into certain pieces and go like that. Um, but yeah, for those who are new, welcome. Um, we've uh, animated this door, which is pretty cool. And then probably eventually you yeah, will go ahead and build up the inside. But for now, we won't. We will probably create, yeah, something in here. So, Shift S, cursor to selected. <sighs> I'm thinking, how are we going to do this? Space trucking game. <laughs> I've, I've been playing some random game on um, Microsoft, the Microsoft Store. Some, it's called like organ harvester organ trader or something i love trading games and so yeah i've been playing this random game where you just have to trade organs okay so i reckon about here g y do we kind of create it in the same mindset oh let's just see i hmm Something like that. Let's go like this. Control B. E to extrude. Alt S. Uh, I don't know. Uh, just thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Let's select. Let's select. Do this. Shift D P separate by selection. Select this. And then I'm going to go select them, scale on the x-axis. Um, let's go ahead, edge loop, edge loop, select these two, scale on the X. Select this, Alt S, scale on the Z. 
g y and then we'll throw a solidify modifier on it um oh jeez <laughs> point one um let's go ahead and maybe a shade smooth and we'll do that let's go control a on that one control j to join um let's go ahead and maybe select these two faces g y and we'll just bring them back a little bit uh where do you put the wheel probably at the front here okay well ah okay ah sorry uh so yeah we rigged all this sorry mto um we rigged all this earlier mm, can i do it in rendered mode let's just have a look see if it will render there we go so that's a pretty simple thing um i'm guessing then if you guys want me to do a tutorial on it i can do that i will add that to my list let me just go into my hotmail yes i'm on hotmail uh calendar 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 that's those three dots right there uh that's excel calendar i will do a video tutorial on how to make those doors on the 23rd i'll do that um animate doors sci-fi events saved beautiful there you go the 23rd we'll do a tutorial on how to do that or you can just go back and watch pretty much the start of the video um so i'm liking this idea i kind of my initial thought was is then would have this in here we'll go new and this one would be engine light and we would go kind of like a light blue 10 press assign your daft monkey um, and obviously would have to do something a little bit more cleaner with that um, that's slightly annoying you cubic projection will work kinda let's go you smart uv you smart uv project and hopefully that'll break it up a bit more yeah uh this bit in here doesn't sit with me nicely so let's go ahead and grab those edges because i mean we might as well try and fix it now gz and then we'll do the same nyar there we go and we'll go gz okay i'm not a big fan of this engine i am not feeling it in the slot i am not feeling it in the slightest I reckon we might need to have something more kind of maybe just up here maybe well oh geez I missed a whole bunch of chat um, animate space shuttle vehicles so ooh, I could I might do the whole interior as well um, for those of you who have been with me for a while if we go into let me see if i can find my other spaceship uh, which one is it do -do 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 this one maybe uh, yes all right so let's go full screen um okay stop 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 let's just bring that up um this door i can hide and so we ended up modeling the interior and i mean it was fairly bland we didn't go that far and deep hey donnie um and mouse made welcome um 
I did end up creating it. And I mean, it looked okay. If we come into here, period key, and then this was the cockpit, my computer is screaming out in pain. And I mean, yeah, it was okay. It turned out all right. Um, but the latest ship that I've been working on, close that one, don't save please. The latest one that I was working on that I finished is this one here. So this is kind of like just a small um, fighter. And so yeah, this kind of, this turned out really nice. Really happy with how this turned out. We modeled out the whole interior. Um, you can see we've got switches up here as well. Um, and then this is kind of like what started off the next kit bashing set. So you can see some very familiar pieces. So yeah, this is all built scale as a person. Um, here's some turrets down here. So that'll probably end up being something a little bit more. I was trying to work out what's the best way for the character to get in and out. So how would it land? The The way I was thinking about it is that it would never land on flat ground. It would always dock. And so that way, that way the person can get in, in and out like that. Slave one, a little bit, yeah. Um, the reason kind of like why I went with this shape as well is I was trying to work out like a really nice silhouette, but this also is a little bit homeworldish. Um, and that's just kind of like a childhood memory. So, <laughs> ship museum. <laughs> that's funny. That that's. I've look. I've got lots and lots of ships. This is kind of when I started getting back into sci-fi. Um, if we go into this one, full screen. So I think this is one of the earlier ones that we created on streams once it started becoming popular again. So yeah, so this is one of the big ships that we created. Uh, so this is the cockpit. So yeah, no, I saw, I saw Homeworld 3 is coming soon as well. So yeah, I was a fan of this ship and this is kind of like, this ship here re uh, sparked me to get back into doing sci-fi stuff. Um, so yeah, you can see this is also one of the main um, contributors to the Greeble set. Uh, the second one, this ship, yeah, kind of built a lot of pieces that we put on here. So that's why I really like this ship. It's quite a fan of it. Um, I'm going to get some water before I die of dehydration. Just bear with me for a sec. Oh, that's better. That's better. Oh, is that noise? Okay. What computer com oh, components do you have? 3080 is the big thing. Emerger? Hello, buddy. You have a lot of ships looking at my collection. Got the... <laughs> I won't say that. Um, okay. I was thinking that set is where the engine grid will... Yes. So, because, Terry, you're on uh, the Patreon. Obviously, you saw the latest kit. And so you can see a lot of those pieces. Let me just close this one down. Uh, you will see a lot of the pieces look familiar. Uh, so this is the one of the latest pieces. It's, you know, you look at it kind of small, but it's actually fairly big. Uh, this is, there's another piece. 
Where else? We've got this one in here, this one, this one, this one. Uh, that one there. And then we've got a whole bunch of other things in there. All right, let's continue on. Let's continue smashing this out. <sighs> hmm. I don't know. Am I trying to salvage this? Ugh. What the? Alt R, rotate 90. Nah, that's that piece doesn't belong there. This piece here, rotate Z 180. Nah. Mm, I just can't think of anything. Even if I got something, this piece looks like an iron. Thank you, thank you. My favorite movie when I'm a child. <laughs> what? Hey, I was going, what? So what do you want to talk about? Are these plates on the outside of texture? Uh, no, so they're all models. Uh, do you see our models on Sketchfab? No, I don't have them on Sketchfab. I've got the Greeble sets are on ArtStation, Gumroad, Blender Market, and CG Trader. Um, I probably will put some of these ships up on... Actually, I probably should, eh? Once they're completed, the uh, I still do have a bit of um, what do you call it? I have a bit of oh you donkey, uh, imposter syndrome still. So there we go, there we go, and we'll go with the Z underneath as well uh so that's why i haven't really been doing it but i i should i need to i really need to do that uh, what's this piece Ooh, that's a good looking piece isn't it oh yes please let's kind of put that one in there something like that and that seems to, yeah, be fixing up this whole section now. Uh, one thing I've noticed is that it doesn't have a bevel. So we'll throw a bevel on, 0.01. Nice. Um, what was this cube for? I don't know. We'll just get rid of that for now. We'll throw in a mirror modifier on for this one in here. There we go. Um, we do have a hole through here. So let's go ahead and probably patch that up. How are we going to do that? Maybe we'll just go into like here. Let's go C, select all them. And we'll just throw it in like so. G, X. And I'm just going to move these faces back a little bit. Just so they don't conflict. Just like we've got right here. So that's cool. Uh, that wire running along the top. Yes. So, um, so I don't know if you guys were still around. That's OP, but do you have an idea about emergency exits, for example? Emergency doors. Mm, that's a good question. All I've got is these doors at the moment. But it is a, it is a probably pretty good idea because I think this would be kind of like the cargo space in here. And then over in this section here will be the cockpit, which I'm gonna redo. I don't really like the cylinder. Um, we were kind of really originally basing it off this mid journey image, um, but now we've kind of taken it on board. Ooh, I like that. I don't know what that was, but it's almost like a piece, a triangle piece here. Um, and this is the scale. So this is our chap. Um, actually, we might just merge all him. And um, control J to join, just make our life easier. Um, so yeah, that's our person for scale. But I think we will probably make a bit of like a, I don't even know what they're called. Shut up, phone. 
um, not gazebo doors, but it's kind of more, I know what I'm talking about. I notice you just drop things onto the ship. I tend to overthink rebuilds and placement. Is this style? Ah, oh, if I were to constantly think about, hmm, what's, what's the point of this? How, what, why is this here? What's this doing? I would get squat all done. So I more just try and break up the, um, not the bleakness. Um, just try and break up the shape. So kind of like from above, we can see that we very much have a nice silhouette. So we're just kind of like looking around the outside. Um, if we come to the side, that's pretty bland. This is semi-interesting now. Um, like if you look at the Falcon, that's kind of got a very interesting silhouette. So that's what I'm trying to more accomplish. Because then when you see it, you're like, hey, that's that thing. I want to be known. Hey, that's that thing. <laughs> what is this? The not actually that will probably belong here, I reckon. Alt R, rotate X 90 degrees, rotate Z 90 degrees. And we can just shove that in there. That looks cool. Um, I did think about it and we should have, there's a corner piece that I have that I like to use. And I think that's in here. There it is. Nope. There it is. Rotate Z 90 minus, and then I'm going to throw that right in here. Something like that. Are you in there? All right, beautiful, nice. And then we'll just rotate that around just to get it out of there. There we go. Nice, is Blender difficult to learn? Oh my goodness, yes. It just, you know, once once you use it, it understand, you understand it, it's fine. Add a few more planes, more to the bottom of the entrance. Draws I mean, you wiggle them around. It's compared. Should have a nice stairs to walk in on. Yeah, so that's the point of this door is meant to be level with the ground and that it should be literally kind of just a ramp they would walk in on. Um, probably what we'll do is, probably what we could do is add some minute paneling over the top of this. So for instance, yeah, we'll probably do that later. But definitely this whole area needs to be worked on. Um, we've still got this whole cockpit we need to, and we haven't even touched the bottom yet. So I do like this plating. I think the plating looks really nice, but I'm biased. Um, did I apply the modifier? No, you daft idiot. Did I? No. No, I didn't. Okay, that's fine. I'm just, just losing the plot, that's all. What the? What the heck of all going on? Okay. Ah, uh, oh yeah, what else? Uh, so let's go ahead. I'm just going to grab these edges and we're just going to push them back a little bit. Ooh, actually, no, that looks nice how it comes out. Oh, right. Okay, so this is the problem. Mmm, I did not know that. Let's go into... Mm, dang it. The plates are actually sitting above. Oh, you suck. Suck. Let's go select all these. Whoops. Select all these. 
and I'm just going to go GZ, bring it up, and then let's bring them down. There we go. And then from here, I'm going to select all these pieces again, and we'll turn on clipping, and we'll go GZ, and that is now touching. Turn clipping off. Oh no, 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 no. Beautiful. Uh, let's go merge by distance, make sure we don't have any vertices overlapping. So that's fine. Now what I wanted to do is I'm going to grab this box select GY. I do like that, how it overlapped a little bit. I saw that by accident. So we're going to keep onto that one. Um, let's go with this piece here, control B, control B. And select these two edges. Oh, fire it. Select these two. Select these two edges. Scale on the Y. Ah, oh, you suck. Ooh. That's not what I wanted. G Y Y G Y. Beautiful. All right, let's have a look. Mm, have you thought about making a cockpit more Falcon? <sighs> Semi. Uh, where are you dragging and dropping these models from? Which plugin? So this is the asset library. Um, I do, I posted the video just before, actually. I think it's this one. No, let's just come back up here. Asset library. Let's click on this. So this is this video. Uh, how to set up your own asset library. Thanks. Uh, it's a cute bash inside the asset browser. Yeah, sorry. Uh, Google Kit, don't forget to save. Save. <laughs> you need to see rendered view. All right, let's have a look. I'll show you where we're at. This is what we're looking at so far. Did you crash? Don't do it. Good. So this is where we are with it being in rendered view at the moment. It's not too bad. Obviously, we've just dumped on a simple material. And to me, it's not too bad. Fairly chuffed with how that looks. Obviously, once we come in and start adding in more pipes and more jazz. Um, where's that? I got pipes in here somewhere. Let's just kind of go like this. GY, do do do. Do 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 do. Yeah, that's cool. Um, what else we got? See, I've got these pieces, but they're not really going to be doing much. But since we're not, I don't think we're ever going to focus on the bottom of the ship. I know I should probably put some more effort into the bottom of the ship. Um, but let's go. Actually, not that one. Let's go this one. Rotate Z, G, X. Scale that one up. Let's go into a solidifier modifier. Uh, we'll set that to zero. There we go. Just gonna cheat like anything, because we know me when I cheat. It's not that I cheat, it's just can't be stopped. Let's go like that, put that in there. Noise, give it a little bit more thickness, make sure auto smooth is turned on. If you ever have kind of, you've got auto smooth turned on, but it looks weird. Let's go M, merge by distance. Make sure we don't have any duplicate, duplicate vertices sitting on top of each other. And then I think we can go into geometry data and go clear custom split normals data. There we go. And so now they're actually square, which is good. And it appears, there we go. So that's a little thing that took me ages to work out. And uh, I'll share that tidbit with you. <laughs> no! Okay, I just want to go grab, let's get control L. 
Let's we'll grab all these. Control L, Shift D, Y. That's not what I wanted. Delete vertices. Ah, that's why. Because there's a mirror modifier. Control L, Shift D, Y. And we're going to go something like that. Let's get rid, delete vertices. Select this, G, Y. Bring that over. And I'm just going to quickly fix this up. Definitely the larger panels um, have worked much better on this ship. So I'm very chuffed about that. Uh, I think that's, yeah, that works nice. Okay, let's just continue on. Let's just kind of keep just building on this. I do like those. I do like those. Control L, uh, Shift D, Y. I'm going to dump that one there. Let's duplicate this one in here. Shift D, Y. GG. GG. L, G, Y. And we'll grab this edge, G, Y, and bring it back. Um, I can see that we have this, delete vertices. And we've got something here. Oops, 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 G, X. There we go, how's that looking? Oh yeah, mirror modifier, done. Delete. Yep, cool. Um, let's just go ahead and grab this and this, Control L. I completely forgot, Control L, Shift D. Sorry, I am ignoring um, chat at the moment. Scale Y. G Y. All right, and we've got this one more panel, probably this one. Control L Shift D Y. Uh, scale Y, like that. And uh, under, select that. Control B. Let's go G Y. G Y. Nice. However, this piece isn't coming through anymore, and I really like that piece. So I'm actually going to bring it higher. This piece here can come higher. This piece doesn't belong here. <laughs> All right. Uh, what do you expect here? 3080. Uh, being meaning stable. Uh, being meaning to try stable diffusion because I'm a cheapskate. I don't know. Come on, man. That's so cool. Thank you. It's free. <laughs> what do you expect? 3080. Yep. 3080. Beautiful. I love when you do spaceships. That's why I've started doing spaceships again. Uh, ever since I got a new PC the th with 3090, I find myself crazy. Yeah. 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 I am i don't want to kill the stream. I do want to try and get my second machine streaming. So I can dedicate specifically doing just this on uh, abusing this machine. Oh, wait. Oh, jeez. Most of these ships look industrial metal. Uh, try changing the color emission. Seems purely like a movie ship. Yeah. You know what? Go on. See if I can do that. See if we can quickly change it to some sort of Zebrani color. You know. Um, let's just make sure that's assigned copy material to selected. Let's go into rendered view. There's not a lot of ambient inclusion coming through, which is a little bit frustrating. Uh, 32. What if I go distance of one? Oh, you donkey. There we go. 20. Yeah, okay. All right, there we go. That's looking better. Yes. Nice. Two, one. Uh, let's go 0.5. That's looking a bit better. Uh, let's go back to two. Yes. 
I knew I was missing something. There we go. So that's looking a lot better. Let me rotate the sun a little bit so it hits the front of the ship. Yeah, that's cool. So definitely this bit here would have to fill in. Um, we would need some awesome pipes to come across through here. I do like, I do like this pipe here. So maybe we might go ahead and throw some more in. Um, however, they finish just nowhere at the moment. But that, meh. Uh, why don't you use Eevee? Isn't that great yet? Yeah. It is. Um, however, this material is specifically set up for cycles. So that's why I'm just using cycles now. <laughs> You're so good at Blender. Oh my goodness. I'm. There's, mm, there is so many people I would love to be... So one thing I love doing, well, I actually kind of hate doing, but I do do it, is I will normally buy um, other people's spaceships and then kind of, welcome, thank you. Um, and then I'll kind of like reverse engineer on how they make pieces. So I did, I, op I bought one ship. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, yeah, I bought one ship because I was like, I, I really want to know how it was made. So, ships. let me see if I can find it. It's not that one. I'm just having a quick look. Give me another 30 seconds of looking. I think maybe I have to go 3D stuff, 3D assets, greebles. Oh, something there. Where is it? Where did I put it? It's a Star Wars ship. I know it's a Star Wars ship. This one? Nope. Oh yeah, and I also buy green I also buy a lot of Greeble sets as well and then learn how they make their own greebles. And then I'll go ahead and kind of um, do a lot of that. So I'll be doing a video all about greebles. And I think in about a fortnight's time. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> I can't find the ship. But anyway, I found a ship and I kind of like reversed engineered it. And I saw how they built that ship and why it looked so good. And so that's why I've kind of changed the whole outlook on how I create my ships. And you kind of, you can semi see that evolution. Um, if we go into Insta. Uh, like you can see what the ships look like. I mean, this was, you know, a fortnight to go live stream. But then if we keep coming down What was that ship? Yeah, you can kind of see, like, I mean, what was this? This was 48, 48 weeks ago. So just over a year ago. And you can kind of just see how much I've evolved. Yeah, like this one here. I mean, this one wasn't too bad. This one is okay. You'll see some initial greeble um, from the first set of greebles. This ship here was amazing. That was a good ship. I should go find that ship. I miss that ship. Um, do I have any other? I don't really have any old ones, do I? Okay. Yeah, look at this one. This one, how old is this one? 10 years? Yeah, almost 10 years ago I made this one. Far out. Wow. Anyway, sorry. Get ahead of myself. Um, how do you texture it? Yeah, so I've just got a, um, in my asset browser, I've just got some materials that I've created. And they kind of just sit there. And whenever I need them, just copy and paste them across. I do have a video somewhere on how I'm... Oh, it's another Instagram dude. He creates material. Anyway, there's a video somewhere on my channel about how I created a sci-fi material. Go watch that one. Creators buying each other's stuff is hilarious, but I guess we'll... Yeah, absolutely. Like, I mean, if anything, it makes me better. <laughs> um, so that's why yeah look I, I want to get better I know there's plenty of other people who are better than me 
but I want to beat them and I want to be better than them. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I've even, I'll still buy blender courses as well. Um, there is a course that I've been meaning to pick up. Oh, it's something about a house. I can't remember what it was. Uh, I saw it the other day on the um, Blender Mar uh, Art Station. Um, but yeah, no, I I will still most definitely buy stuff. Even, yeah. So actually, I'll show you. This is some of the stuff that I bought. Library, 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 library. 3D stuff, 3D assets, gravels. No, that's not the one. Library, library, sci-fi ships, Star Wars. So I bought a few Star Wars ships because I wanted to reverse engineer those ones because they look nice. So if we go into full screen. Oh gosh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh yeah, because this guy can't do stuff. Um, let me fix that up, fix that up. GPU, yes, yes, yes. Um, if I come into shading and let's just quickly throw some lighting on it. Sky texture. And then we come into this, uh, come into film and let's rotate a little bit. And so like, because as well, I know that this ship was created in Blender. I can kind of go back and actually have a look at the various materials that have been created as well. So this is kind of like ways I've learnt about how to create nice materials. The problem with this one is, is from memory, the ambient occlusion distance is too harsh. If I go 0.5. I think that's meant to be 0.5. I remember playing around with all this stuff. I'm thirsty. Where is it? No, hull plating. I swear it was that one. He did something. And I went, why are you doing that? Da -da -da -da. Now I'm trying to find it. I know it exists somewhere. Ugh. But yeah. You can, uh, you can kind of see how they've actually gone about creating the hulls, the hull pieces. And that's the exact same process that I've been following. Even, you know, for instance, if we have a look in here, you can see how there's just small squares just attached everywhere. So for instance, if I were to go like this, let's just close this out now, don't save. And we came back into here. Um, let's grab, I'm going to go shift D to duplicate this P. No, I don't need to do P. Um, from here, let's kind of go select everything and we can go, uh, sorry, deselect everything and we can go random, select random and I want faces, select, dang it, select random, faces. I want to go maybe 0.1, cool beans. So let's now go control I delete faces. From here, I'm going to press invert, uh, I to do an invert. <laughs> Control I to invert my selection, delete faces. Um, and then from here, we can come into solidify. We can make these a bit thicker. Oops, come on. And then now when we come into rendered mode, you can see just having those extra squares, how much detail that's come through. And that's all because, like I've learned all this because of obviously buying other people's models and going, eh, how's that work? Why is that, why is that so good? Blah, blah, blah. And so it's just like the little things simply like that, um, you know? And because of we because we know that this is on a plane, I can go shift D, Y, let's scale on the Y axis. Uh, let's go GZ. Uh, actually, we might go clipping. Shift D, Y. Shift D. Whoops. Go back in render mode. 
But it's like, yeah, just simply doing those little squares, it was pretty easy and it's just added so much extra detail to the ship. So there you go, there's another little tip for you guys. Um, oh, I wonder if you bought my grills. I think. Ah. Oh. Uh, about spaceships is my passion since I was little, so I really like the outer space. Have you made a damaged spaceship before? I don't think... I would say no, I haven't. Love the character of the fam. Character, character. I don't know which one that is. <laughs> uh, I'm studying for horror test for tomorrow and you're the only thing keeping me sane. That's good. I'm glad. Anyway, people, that's not too bad. Uh, it's been a bit of a fall off. I'll show you what I'm looking at. So we had a nice peak here and then it's all kind of gone downhill. But yeah. Um, oh, look at this person. All right. Let's, you know what, what's time? 11.30. Far out. Okay. We're going to work on the cockpit front section here. So let's go ahead. I'm going to start off by deleting this. Control L, delete vertices. Let's select these faces in here. Shift D to the Y. P, separate by selection. How are we gonna do this? I reckon we do a E to extrude. Let's go B to do a bevel. And we'll grab this face, G, Y. And we'll just give that a bit of spice, a bit of spice. Um, let's put an edge loop through here. And this here are gonna be individual windows. I to do an inset. I again to do individual insets. So now we've got this. That is too big. That's too big. Oh no, it's not. If we kind of grab him and he sits here, still a bit too big, but that's fine. Let's grab all this section up here, G to the G to the Z. Mm, actually, have it like that, I reckon. That's a nice size. Let's go with that. Uh, and then I'm going to delete all those faces behind. Shipwreck next stream. Maybe I'll try. We'll see what happens. The architect, welcome. Thank you. It shows you when you open up Insta. Okay. Um, let me have a look. Let me have a look. Profile, profile, profile. I'm trying to find which caricature of the fam. Ha! <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that short. <laughs> Idiot. Uh, yeah, went for a walk with the family. Just came across some kangaroos. Yes, because I am in Canberra. They, um, you know, just everywhere. This was minus... I think it was minus four when I rode in. Yeah, it was freezing cold. <laughs> so, yeah. I I forgot what I was looking at. So, oh, okay. So let's. Are you dumb donkey? Okay, let's do this again. Select all these. Delete vertices. Okay, so this is what the cockpit area is going to look like. Scale Y zero, select all G Y, and I reckon we're going to have it sitting something like so. Maybe G Z. Bring it up. Um, we can move it off to the side a little bit. Yeah, nice. Um, and then this will allow us to put some pieces just on top. So, for instance, I could just throw this over here. Uh, Alt R, rotate 180. Oh, this is a good piece. Oh, no, 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 this piece doesn't belong there. That is not the piece. Um, let's have a look, what's this one? That piece there, there we go. Alt G, hold control, rotate Z 90. And then that'll kind of just sit there. 
Um, let's go. Oh, there was that little piece. There's a little piece that I've been abusing of recent. That I'll come over. There you are. This is a nice little piece. I really like this piece. It doesn't do much, uh, but it just uh, sits well. Um, from here, let's make sure we select auto smooth. You, are you not auto smoothing? Um, maybe what we do to do is clear custom splits. That's why, because I haven't done anything. Let's select this, this, this. Thus and thus, and we're going to go individual origins. Is that going to work? S scale shift Z, scale X, scale Y. There we go. Ugh. That looks like crud. Let's not do that. Undo. Okay, cockpit. Copying like a dropship from Alien would look awesome. Cockpit. Whoops. No mistake. Dropship from Alien. Dropship. Alien. Nah. Wouldn't su it doesn't suit it at all. Because this ship isn't kind of like one where they're just uh, sitting down all day. It'd be something where they're mo more moving around. And I think having kind of like... Mm. Yeah, no, not that one. I like the idea though. I might have to steal it for later on. Hmm. I'm not feeling this. I'm not feeling this at all, which is slightly annoying. Let's go delete vertices. I hate you. You dumb donkey. Delete. Oh yeah. Control numpad plus, delete, delete faces. And then we can select this, F, 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 F. F. Dead space. Let's have a look at dead space cockpits. Ba ba bum. Da 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 dum. Uh, no 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 no. Da da da. Cockpits. Yeah, this is something more what I'm kind of thinking of. What I might do, because I'm lazy, let's crack open Blender. Let's just go into a different one. Would you make this differently? It was for a game. Absolutely. freaking lootly <laughs> Completely different. Um, Dreadnought. Yeah, absolutely. I'd be making this completely different. Uh, this would definitely does not belong in the game. All right. So if we grab that, I think I've grabbed everything. Control C. Let's bring that up a little bit. Um, let's just move that out of the way. And I'm going to go control V. Oh, it's not what I wanted. Delete. Um, mirror modifier on that, please. Boop. Oops. There we go. All right. So we've just kind of just, uh, yeah. Let's just take what we've already got. Oh, suck a lemon. There we go. Um, we will scale this on the white. 
scale this on the y axis. Oh my goodness, can you what? Ah, uh, scale, sorry, scale this on the y axis. And we might just have to clean that up. This is kind of what I was thinking. Um, let's maybe select everything. Why is this being weird? What on earth is going on with this thing? Ah, ugh. Uh, control A, mesh. Actually, let's go. I just kind of want to line this up. So I'm going to select this point, this point, Shift S, cursor to selected. And then we'll select all this, right click, set origin to 3D cursor. And now we can go rotate, oh, actually, scale Y minus one, scale Z minus one. And so now that's been flipped. It's not, mm, it's not exactly what I'm after. I understand what I've done. No. Nah. <laughs> no. Nah. Let's go back. Bring this one in. Work with what we've got. Uh, just throw Nana on it. <laughs> uh, wood. Yeah, oh, it's way too high poly. Maybe in a game jam. Uh, would be more... Yeah. Yeah, that's mm, like, I mean, you could go back and clean it all up. Um, I mean, technically, yeah, you could probably use it in a, um, in kind of like a prototype. It might work, um, but it might, I would still be smart about it. And I think probably using this in something like that might screw you over in the long run. Uh, let's go something like this. And then from here, we'll do I to do an inset. Whoops, I, I. I, I, Captain Birds, I. And then individual origins now. E to extrude, Alt S. E to extrude, just a little bit. Uh, let's go in and throw a bevel. Okay, bevel's already on there. Weird. Uh, Mr. Bevel, where are you? Oh, that's why. Let's go uh, right click. I must have mark sharp on there. Control E. Mark clear seams. Control E, clear sharp. Why is there no bevels? Shift N. Uh, let's just make sure that we're all f the orientation's still fine. That's good. That's good. That's good. Got a piece there. Got a piece there. That's fine. I'm not really concerned about that. Fine. We will do this manually. Uh, let's come through here. Oh, come on. Come on, Marco. You can do this, buddy. Let's come through there, through there, through there. Control B. I'm just going to do a small little bevel. Oops. Hmm. Select all merge by distance. Do I have any 20 vertices removed? There you go. Hey buddy, Mr. Crap. It's a master modeler. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, just leaving as is. There would still be quite a bit of work. Like, I mean, look at this monstrosity. You know, this is just something that we've just thrown on. Mm, I mean, you could probably do a little bit, but I mean, this panel here, you'd probably want to rebake out or not even have it. Um, oh, geez, this is an empty spot. I like this piece. Let's go Shift D, G. I'm just going to dump that one in there. <laughs> just moving around the ship. 
plop that one in there like so. Put that in there. Oops. That does look pretty schmick though. No, I haven't even touched this bottom side yet. Um, probably just end up putting some pipes on it. This bit here can be all clean. I think that's good. Uh, that's a nice piece. This all fits very well. Um, but yeah, we could probably definitely just throw in some nice big fat tub of pubs, pubs, pipes. Um, let's change that to the medium point. There was a nice piece that I saw earlier. What's this one? Not that one. Oh, that one. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Mm. Anyway, okay, come on, fix this one up. Let's just, you know what I'll do is I'm just going to do this for now. Oh, the problem is I can't really do that. Ah, I'm just talking to myself and just losing the plot. Let's go copy material to selected and we'll check this in rendered view. That's not bad. Let's just close this up. Shading. Um, and let's kind of just do a rotation of the sun. See, this is why this material definitely is probably going to need to be fixed up. But just having all these pipes just running randomly, I think looks works out well. So what I could do ultimately is hide that, hide that, hide that. Come into here. And where we've got our pipes, I'm going to select my pipe up here. There we go. Let's go tab into edit mode. T, we're going to go drawing. And so I'm just going to start drawing pipes. Well, that's going to stuff up there. Yep. Cool. Um, <laughs> nice. Beautiful. And we'll do that. And now when I go Alt H, we've got just kind of like just pipes now starting to go everywhere. And that's just going to do all that. Um, I reckon we might steal this piece here. Shift D, scale Y, sorry, X minus one, Z. And let's go something like this. G, Y. Nice. So you can see just kind of like how we quickly we filled that up. Um, let's bring that on this side as well. Rotate 90. And that's just going to give this side a little bit of extra love. Yep. What the hell did old H do? Uh, old H unhides stuff. So you can see now we've brought in all those pieces. So H, old H. Yeah, that's cool. That's sick. <laughs> <laughs> a space brewery <laughs> uh, I mean G move oh sorry G1 oh no so it could be I don't know what I was saying then um, sorry no 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 sorry G Y so I'm moving along the ax Y axis G Z moving it up and down Uh, so that's how that works. Oh, look at that. That's a knot. I like that. Let's just fix this pipe up quickly. GZ. Bring that up. And I'm just going to quickly just dump that in there. I think that's pretty good. Uh, so for those of you who are new, welcome. Um, oh, GZ plus one, yes. So G to move, Z 
axis, and then one, or five, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so for those new who just joined us, welcome. Um, this is the ship that we've been working on for the past. Two hours, three hours, two hours, two hours, which is pretty cool. Um, and we also animated the door, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'll do a tutorial all about that. I started using stable diffusion on my PC now. I don't know what that is. Used to be used mid journey, but wanted something free. Stable diffusion. Okay, I don't know. never heard of it. I just use uh, yeah mid journey. So while we're here, let's go ahead and we're gonna work on this door. Alt H, back. Am I losing the plot? Ah, oh, yeah, I am losing the plot. <laughs> okay. Um, so, what is the best way to do this? Because we want to just kind of make... Maybe what we'll do then is with the door, let's bring it down a smidgen. Let's now go ahead and... Shift D, Alt S to bring it out. Control I to invert my selection and hide. Now we're just going to work on these these pieces. So let's do like so. And because everything's already been kind of um, assigned, and by that I mean in terms of to the bones. Let's just do I. That's what I wanted. Control numpad plus delete faces. And then now we can just do, I'm going to do some random pieces like this. G. Um, so I, uh, I did create an animation about how I stack my bike. Just out of curiosity, what did people think of that? All right. Check out me, Joe. Whose profile? Are there any stable? Yeah, I'll show you my mid-journey stuff. So these are all the things that I've been working on. No worries, buddy. I will put that on Patreon. Put this ship on Patreon uh, soonish. So this is me trying to work out what I was going to do tonight, um, and then this was me for a future project, which will come out soon. Um, these are cool. This is some like really nice results. I'm like, look at that. That is mwah, mwah. That is looking good. Um, then I was just trying some sci-fi landscapes. Um, and then I was testing some of the commands. So there's more commands that you can actually use. Where's the ship from the last stream? I was actually going to thinking of making this one. I think we might actually do that maybe the next one. Uh, this is from the last stream, which, yeah, I wasn't a fan of that ship, so I stopped working on it. Um, what the heck is this? Meat waffle wrap. Okay. <laughs> Um, this one here is from, we made that for a short film, Mr. White. So we completed that one. There we go. That's the ship from, I think about three, four streams ago. And so, yeah, I love mid journey. So much fun. Look at this one. Like, look at that. That looks so cool. That is <laughs> Uh, by former hedge funds manager to be open source. Yeah, mid journey. I can. Yeah, I was in a team meeting and we were just talking about, like they were just giving random prompts and that's what we're doing. Uh, one of my favorite ones is from my son. I told him to make something. Um, uh, where is it? Hang on, let's keep going, keep going, keep going. This one here. 
Um, meerkats having fun on the moon. That was his thing. I'm actually intrigued. What happened now? Ah, we'll do it later. So, anyway. Where were we? Yes, so... This is... So this is kind of like how we're just going to be building this up. Uh, let's go control L on that one. Delete vertices. That's fine. Uh, this one here. We can go control L, select all that. Uh, maybe we'll put some edge loops in there. GG. Control B. And then we can select these faces. Control L. Del deselect these. Delete faces. Let's go ahead now select those two, control L, scale, scale Y. There we go, that's looking nice. Now we can work on these doors. And we're gonna go I to do an inset, I to do an inset. Let's now go E to extrude. Oh, that's not gonna work. It's not gonna work at all. Let's go P separate by selection. No. Let's go V to rip. Control L. Let's do it like this. Oh, you smart marker. Well done. Is that right? G, Y, G, X. Control Z. Oh. Uh oh. Uh, uh oh. I've stuffed something up. <laughs> okay, well, let's just go P separate by selection. What have I done? I broke something. What the heck have I done? Delete. Why is there a hole here? Oh gosh, okay. I did. I did something stupid. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, please go fix, 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 fix. Sweet. Sweet. Uh, let's select all. Merge by distance. There we go. All right, now we fixed it. Well done, Marco. Good job. Uh, deselect them. V to rip. Control L. And now, oh, that actually works quite nice. O, G, X, X. We'll push that in a smidgen. Um, and then we go into the individual origins and we'll just scale it up a little bit. Yes. Nice, perfect. Uh, let's come back up here. Uh, isn't too bad. Yeah, no, it's only like 10 bucks. Yeah, I still haven't got onto Dali 2. I want to try it, but I haven't had an opportunity. I'm still using it for the so pro open source. It's a cheat code. <laughs> still don't know how I feel about the whole AI thing. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Let me jump on my Discord. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, that looks sick. Let me just bring that over here. Oh, that looks sick, Tim. Oh, I hate you so much. Mm. That's cool. That's cool. Control blink lighting. I posted a test runner on Insta. 
Nice. Some more paintings. Okay. Is great as a foundation. Or yes, I completely agree. And hence why, kind of like if you look at this, this is what we started. This is where we are now. So I think, yeah, absolutely. Let's uh, let's maybe just dump in some pieces now, just quickly. Um, because we probably should start finishing up. Because I got work tomorrow. I haven't been to work for a week now, and that was because, uh, yeah, the accident. Oops. So yeah, that was uh, yeah, that was fun. Uh, I don't recommend riding a bike and then hitting black ice. Because <laughs> uh, normally what I do now is when I'm streaming, I would be standing up. But uh, yeah, I don't think I could stand up for three hours right now. And that's obviously because of what happened. Uh, so all I'm trying to do now, to do now <laughs> is... To... Um, I can talk. All I'm trying to do now is just, we're gonna try and finish up with just working on this cockpit. Let's go ahead. Really? You donkey. Okay, that one. Let's go into solidify modifier. Cool, and we'll make that zero. From here, let's go G to the Z and we'll bring that up. G to the Z, bring that down. Good. And then we can start just chopping this up a smidgen through there. Let's go like so. Control, Control B. Uh, we'll grab this, 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 this. Control B to do a bevel. Delete uh, faces. Nice. Uh, let's just increase these panels, uh, make sure we've got even thickness on. Let's select everything, shift N, make sure that it's all facing the right way. We do have bevel modifier on, control by scale. Let's turn that down to 0.01. Nice. Um, maybe what we might do is edge loop, edge loop, select that, select, select that, control B. Select that one, and that one, that one, that one, and that one. GZ, bring that down. Nice, that works out well. Uh, let's probably fix this up a little bit. Control L, I'm just gonna rotate that around a little bit rather than trying to fix everything. Holding shift, we can move. Whoa. Let me just move it down. There we go. Nice, that seems to have worked really well. Is there anything else that we could probably attach? <laughs> Sorry, shouldn't have blown on the thing. Uh, let's go something like this. Okay, and we'll go rotate 90. Let's now go mirror modify that puppy onto this piece. And uh, let's get this into the middle X. Okay, zero. There we go, nice. And you two can be zero. Excellent, all right. Last but not least. <laughs> Yeah, let's leave it at that. All right. All right, so let's have a look. What's our final result for the live stream? Oops. Let's make sure we've got everything selected. Select that one last. And we're going to go into copy material to selected. Um, let's just quickly update some of these materials. This one, this one, that one. Go into a new material and this one will be emission light, assign this here. 
this, 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 and this. We will call this new, this would be glass. All it's predominantly just going to be is metallic. We'll turn that up, specularity down, the roughness down. Uh, don't forget to press the sign, you clown. I think once, you know, we put in some like, maybe some point lights or something in here as well, just to admit some light. I reckon it'll look schmick. And then we've got our door as well. Uh, cool, I uh, broke our door. <laughs> okay, so let's just quickly fix that up before we head off. Uh, Shift N, oh, Control Z. Alt H to unhide. All right, so let's work this out. If we come into here, deselect everything. Okay, select. That's correct. Deselect. Select. All right, we're missing some pieces. Control L. Oh, you dumb donkey. Let's go V, V. V. Hmm. V. What the? I'm confused now. Ah, crud. What have I done? Hmm. Ah, oh, crud, what have I done? Okay, I've butchered something. Hang on. Let's, uh, let's fix this problem. No. Did I fix the problem? I did not fix the problem. What is this? Okay, you're my problem. Control L, delete vertices. Control L. <sighs> okay, I can't merge this V to okay I know what your problem is mate select I uh, hate you <laughs> so that's fine okay well let's try this again you and you are Down. That is what I've got selected. Alt H. Right. What are you? Control L. Delete vertices. You're still a jerk. Okay, that's fine. Let's with that one, remove, hide, remove, assign, alt H. Oh, oh no, there we go. Is that fixed now? <laughs> Shut up, phone. We can do this. I, I've got this. Let's go like this. Hide those pieces. This, this. Let's go remove. Oh, if I go control L. We're going to go remove from all groups. This is now going to be assigned to upper two. Alt H, Control L, remove from all groups, assign. There we go. Okay, so that's fixed now. 
Uh, so the whole point of that was, is so I can put a point light in here and we'll just put that up to like 500. 50,000. And so what it's going to look like. Oh, yeah, that looks cool. And then how you've got the, um, the lights coming through. Let's make it actually alt D alt D and let's make it like a yellow, maybe even a bluey light. Dun, 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 dun. And then it'll be like this. And it spills out all the light. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. All right. Oh, yuck. No, this is all stuffed. Ah, oh, dang it. All right, it's a future marker problem. But anyway, there we go. The stream, I think we'll leave it at that. So I might do a few more touches over the week on this model. Um, and then I'll probably upload it to Patreon. I might even put it on art station. I don't know. We'll see. Um, what else? I don't know. Uh, when your eyes apparently very good. Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah. Thank you very much for being here. We had three thousand eight hundred views, which is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I'll accept it. Um, any other news? Uh, so tomorrow is uh, another add-on review. Let me just check my uh, calendar, and I can tell you what's coming up. What videos are coming up? Calendar, calendar. What videos are coming up? We have. Uh, yeah, we've got an add-on review, transparent background. We've got Greeble video on Friday, so we're going to be talking. It's just going to be a video just about the Greebles. Um, and then after that, we've got another add-on review on Monday, EB Edge Detection, and then we're doing a showcase piece on uh, Felicia White. And then Animated Door on how to make this Animated Door will be on the 23rd. So, yeah. All right. Thank you very much, guys. And, hey, I can see myself. <laughs> that was the wrong window. Have a good one. Thank you very much. Take care. And uh, like and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs>